Hey everybody, this is Brad from ShadowTrader.net, and as the title of the video says, Divergence exclamation point or Divergence question mark. And the reason I'm bringing this up today, uh, I just feel it's appropriate that we look at a couple different things. And number one, uh, the S&P, right? Obviously doing very, very well. It knew all-time highs, uh, not a care in the world. So things are looking pretty good. NDX, also pretty bullish, hit highs, all-time highs on Wednesday. Uh, but as you can see, there's a little bit more pullback in large cap tech. Now, let me just start out by saying this could be something, it could be nothing, hence the question mark or exclamation point. But I think this will become a little bit more clear when I show you the profile. Okay, so here's the profile with the uh, S&P futures. Um, as you can see, you know, very, very balanced. We have basically a, almost a triple top up here. We have value that's building sideways. If we kind of merge these days together, you can see things are fine, roughly between, you know, 4930, 4905, which is where all the value is. We have, you know, points of control up here, but a little bit different picture in the NASDAQ. As you can see pretty clearly, we have now made the all-time high on Wednesday, lower high Thursday, lower high Friday, and value is also moving lower. And there is a gap in value. And we had a poor low on Friday. All I'm saying is be on the lookout uh, for a potential pullback because if the NASDAQ does drag the S&P lower, then there could be a lot of people up here trapped. If it doesn't, hey, that's fine. Maybe money rotates out of large cap tech. S&P is fine. They continue to go into industrials, uh, real estate, energy, things like that. But all I'm saying is if the NASDAQ does start dragging the market lower, then watch for a break uh, below, obviously, the three days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, if we take out Monday and Tuesday's high. And then, of course, if we were to take out Monday, Tuesday low and start going below this Friday high, the 19th, then I think that would really change the tone and trend of this market. So anyway, stay frosty, my friends. That's about it. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Have a great one. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, everybody. This is Brad Agonis with ShadowTrader.net. Thank you for taking the time to watch this short video. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button below. Also, you can check us out, ShadowTrader.net slash squawk. And if you want to trade live with myself or any of the other Shadow Trader moderators, sign up, give us a try. Take care, good luck trading, and see you soon.